Hi, and I am back with another book review. Um, I've actually read two books since I did the last review. But I think we're just going to go with not reviewing every book because this is what I got into when I reviewed them on my blog and it was just like I was getting really behind with the book reviews and then I just didn't find them fun. So I'm just going to review like as and when. So there is a book that I've skipped <laughs> and today I'm reviewing Pop Goes the Weasel by MJ Arledge. Um, it's part of a series, it's part of the D.I. Helen Grace series and it's the second book in that series. Um, I read the first one, which I think is called Eeny Meeny, earlier in the year um, and this time around I've read the second one. I'm usually like not big on series of books because obviously you have to keep reading them but I think when it comes to like crime novels, which this is, um, they're quite easy to like dip in and out of. Um, so it's not too bad. I would say um, that you need to have read Eeny Meeny before you read this one because there's just part of like Helen's character and things that happened in the first book that you kind of need to know to understand this book. So it's not a case of oh you can skip it and just like dip in and out of the series whenever. I do think you need to read them in order as I said there are events and I'm sure that continues in the series like I'm imagining there's events in book number three from this book so you definitely need to read them in order however I'm really enjoying this series like I did with my last review I'm going to read you the blurb just like from Amazon because that describes it way better than what I can. <laughs> so it says, a man's body is found in an empty house. His heart has been cut out and delivered to his wife and children. He is the first victim and Detective Inspector Helen Grace knows he will not be the last. But why would a happily married man be this far from home in the dead of night? The media call it Jack the Ripper in reverse, a serial killer preying on family men who lead hidden double lives. Helen can sense the fury behind the murders, but she cannot possibly predict but what she cannot possibly predict is how volatile this killer is, or what is waiting for her at the end of the chase. <laughs> Grim description, but it is a crime novel. Um I love crime novels. They are far fetched and this is no exception to that rule. Um but you just have to have to go with it and if you're into crime novels I highly recommend giving the Helen Grace series a go. Um, I enjoyed this one perhaps more than Eeny Meeny. Um, I'm, I actually am going to double check because I keep referring to it as Eeny Meeny and now I'm like doubting myself that it even is called Eeny Meeny. <laughs> no, I'm right it is. Yeah, I think I enjoyed this second one even more. It was really really gripping. I read it in just over a day. Um, they're very short chapters as well, which I like. <laughs> I read on my Kindle, so your Kindle tells you like how many minutes left you've got left in a chapter, and the chapters are usually around one or two minutes long each, so they are very, very short, and I like that, because it means it's just easy to stop anywhere in the book. Um, I find that when they're short like that, it encourages me to keep on reading. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, go on, just another one, because it's only like a minute. And then I get to the end of that, and I'm like, oh, go on, just one more. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is a big plus for me, that they are very short chapters. Story-wise, highly gripping, um, really interesting storyline that you sort of gathered from that, basically. Let's just, like, no spoilers here, but like I said, it's crime novel, it's going to be a bit grim. Basically, it's a prostitute killing clients. <laughs> um, obviously not, all is not what it seems, though, as you discover further in the book. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. I would say it is your typical crime novel, um, and you do have to overlook those sort of, like, far-fetched elements of it. I find some of it a little bit repetitive at times. I don't mean like the storyline, I mean the certain phrases within the book um, that got repeated quite a lot, but I could sort of look past that. Um, ratings wise, because I rate all my books on Goodreads as well, which by the way, if you want to follow me on Goodreads, I'll make sure Josh pops um, a link to my Goodreads in the description. Um, I gave it a four out of five, and I think that's what I gave Eeny Meeny as well. Um, it would have to be a very, very well written and very original story for me to give any crime novel a five. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Can't wait to read the rest of the series. If they're all as good as what the first two have been, then 
that I, I have no complaints. They're just good books for speeding through and sort of getting you out of a bit of a reading slump as well. So yeah, highly recommend giving the Helen Grace series a go if you are a crime fiction fan. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm going to get gone and I'll see you guys next time.